Uh, so Mindy asks or says, pain clinic no longer giving pain pills for people with fibromyalgia. So I think there's a number of issues here you can address, Martin. Yes, sir. The owner said, since there is the owner of the pain clinic said, since there is no proof of fibromyalgia, they can't give pain pills out. I had four rheumatologists tell me I had fibromyalgia. As you know, it's a process of elimination. Let's hope the Lyrica wor will work. I'm on the lowest dose and so far so good. Ooh, here we go. Well, and so far so good. Lyrica is one of those toxic drugs. Lyrica's uh, job is to, well, it was originally designed for epilepsy, for brain activity overdrive. And so when you take Lyrica, you're trying to disconnect the signal from the reaction. You're trying to essentially stop your brain from doing what it wants to do. You will have heard me elsewhere talk about amygdala, the limbic system. The limbic system is overreactive and you can try and lower the reactivity by chemical blocks, blocking factors. If you go to the root cause, you will see that it's the presence of toxins, absence of nutrients, lack of dynamic circulation, and some trauma that has conspired and created this perfect storm called fibromyalgia, which effectively is a problem of the limbic system being overstimulated. There are multiple ways to lower this trigger-happy function of your brain. Chemicals is one of them, but it solves nothing because that's sort of like snipping the wire that is between the sensor and the indicator, as in putting chewing gum on top of your engine light that says change oil or that says oil pressure too low or whatever it is. It fixes nothing. It only delays or mutes the reaction. So that's the Lyrica, Cymbalta, and many other issues. Now, going back to the pain clinic. Yes, you are experiencing pain. You are in pain. No question there. It's, it's real. But the pain is the signal that your body is sending to you that it's inflamed. If you remove the triggers, the primary problems, then you will have much less of it. So stagnation, trauma, toxicity, malnutrition. Deal with those and the need for painkillers will be much less. Now, the def definition of what? Well, why do they not hand out the pills anymore? All of the opiates are highly addictive. The society knows it. And with time, you need more and more to achieve the pain reduction that you're used to. So you may start with 10 milligrams before you know it, you're, you're on 20, before you know it, you're on 40, and so on, and so on, until you're at a pretty nasty dose. And when you're at a high dose, they cut you off, and the only thing that's left for you is to hit the street and buy some illegal street-level heroin or street-level knockoff OxyContin that's going to be laced with fentanyl and uh, goodbye. You're going to hit one of the badly made, I don't know what they are, illegal things, and you're going to terminate. So what's the answer? The answer is to really try to undo the triggers. As far as helping you with negotiating with a pain clinic, I have no way of doing that. There's just, there's just no winning here. The only thing that will ever happen is you will get hooked on opiates and you will need an ever-increasing dose of it until someday it blows up. So uh, let's go back to the beginning. You need to understand that your limbic system is dysregulated and it's dysregulated because of trauma, stagnation, toxicity, and malnutrition. Deal with all those and you will 
get over this problem.